Rakatha Yahawa, Rakatha Yahawa Shai, Rakatha Yahawa, Rakatha Yahawa Shai, Rakatha Yahawa, Rakatha Yahawa Shai, Kal Halal Yahawa, Basham, Yao Shai, Basham, Raka Kudash. I'd love to give double honors to our true teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. Shalom to the one third, the elect, hopeful elect of the men, the women and the children. All of the praises is forever given to Yahweh or Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Amen. So be true. My name is Brother Ahab. And I would like to entitle this video Never ever underestimate the power of the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Never ever underestimate the power of the Lord. If you really Truly believe in Yahweh Basham Yoshai and you fear him and his son, you will never underestimate the power of our Heavenly Father. There's nothing impossible with our Lord Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. Nothing is impossible. All things are possible with Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, you have men, you have women, you have even children. They're into, you know, nature, birds. You just never know. Someone could click, see this picture of a sparrow because they like birds, they click onto it, and that person, that individual, could be a, a so called Christian. You know, when I say so called, you know, when you go into churches, you're not really serving the Lord the proper way. Okay? And that's another topic again. But the so-called Christian, right, that is still calling on JC, right, going into buildings um, made with hands, you could go more into it. That's why you need to get out of those churches now before it's too late. Because if the blind lead the bind, both would fall into the ditch. Just paraphrasing. Because someone could click on, an individual could click onto this video because of the picture, a so-called Christian, and their life can change suddenly. Suddenly their life, their, their, their thoughts, their understanding can change. Because they don't understand the real terror of the Lord. They don't know what <laughs> the real love of the Lord is. They think that, lo that, 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 that the Lord our power is all love and not hate. So I'm going to use this scripture here. Matthew 10 verse 28. We're going to start from there. And fear not them which kill the body but listen, here we go, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both. Soul and body in hell, and there's no such thing as hell, okay? Hell just means the grave. 
Heaven is just a, a condition here on earth that we have to play out. Right? And that's, an, oh, that's another thing again. They could click onto this picture and to find that there's no such thing as hell. So we're going back again. And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul. It's only Yahweh Basham Shai can kill both body and soul. Oh, I've said the name. You see, you clicked onto this video now to find out the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord, Yahweh is his name. Okay? He is, he to be, Yahweh is the father. And his son, which is ignorantly called Jesus Christ, is Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. He saves. He delivers. Now you didn't know that, did you? There's always someone out there that's going to hear this information for the first time. You remember the Lord said, you know, the Lord said he's not going to return, I'm just paraphrasing, until everyone has heard. There is no excuses. All right? So it says, fear him, Fear him, Yahweh Basham Yashai, which is able, able. There's no hindrance, there's nothing stopping him to destroy both soul and body in hell. Right? So the man that you're fearing can kill you, but it goes deeper. The man that can kill you cannot kill you unless the Lord tells him to kill you. The Lord is in control of everything. Yeah? Verse 29. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. Wow, that means the permission. This is for the newcomers that don't, they've never heard this before. Everything has to go via Yahweh Basham Yashai, whether it's good or bad. Yeah? So listen, look at this word here. I read it again. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall. You see that word fall? It's going to that fall. There's a lot of um let me play it first. <coughs> so, excuse me. Strong's G four thousand ninety eight. Pipto. Pipto. It says fall, fall down, light, fail. Right? There's a lot of words here. Right? To descend from a higher place to a lower, to fall, to thrust down, to fall under judgment. You yeah. came under condemnation, you see? But that's through the Lord. It has to go through the Lord. But there's, there's few of them here, but I'm going to read one here that says it all. He says, to be removed from power by death right there's a lot here it says to perish oh you see to perish i come to an end oh i didn't see that once <laughs> there's quite a few of them disappear cease Ooh. to fall because everything is to fall 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 down you see to fall down to to ruin of buildings walls etc but i didn't see that one to perish, i.e. come down, come to an end, disappear, cease. Uh, to lose authority, no longer have force. You see that? Of saints, precepts, etc. To be removed from power by death. So going back again. Right? Going back. So he says, and one of them shall not fall. That is die. 
on the ground, that's a sparrow, without your father. That is the father's permission. Nothing can happen unless it is sanctioned by the Lord. Nothing. So this is what we have to remember, even ourselves. We are talking to ourselves too. Because when that hour of temptation comes, and we are all going to be tested, every single one of us, just remember, you could torture, you could do this, you could do that. And even that, the Lord's in control. Listen, the Lord's in control of the issues of death. I was paraphrasing. He's in control of death. He's in control of life. He's in control of giving you pain. He wounds, he heals. So when that time approaches and you have that in your, your mindset, that whoever's going to try to take your life, it's the Lord that's in control of that person. And it may well happen, but the Lord can take the, the pain away from you. You don't know. Hey, going back again. Never underestimate the power of the Lord. This is where the faith comes in. The faith. The faith that we need to have. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, all thy soul, all thy strength. And lean not unto your understanding. If we could mind, if we could grasp on that during distress. Because when we're under distress, you know, your mind goes different. This is why we have to go through that training, that refinery, that pain that the Lord has put in the affliction, the Lord's put it on us. So Lord willing, when that time comes, that real time comes, we might be ready and waiting. Right? To what's the word? What's the word? To um to exercise our faith. This is what we are about to do to exercise our faith because we know whatever happens it's not going to happen unless it goes via Yahweh Basham Yahushai but the very hairs of your head are all numbered so <laughs> even the man that wants to try to kill you his hairs are numbered also. Who numbered his ear, ears on his head? The Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai. The Lord numbers his ears on his head. Uh, Matthew 10 verse 31. Fear ye not, therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows. And it said, you know, remember it said, it is one sparrow. One sparrow. He's talking about one sparrow. And one of them shall not fall, die on the ground without your father's father. Without your father. One sparrow. And it says here, fear ye not, therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows. Many sparrows. Whoso, who, whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me, deny through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rekha she must never, ever, Lord willing, never, ever, we hope and pray that it's ordained that we never, ever deny Yahweh, Basham Yahushai. Because if you confess the Lord, Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, he will also confess you. I say it again. Don't want to be private. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, bow down to the system, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven. So, 
This is a reminder for us too. This is a reminder. This is why we have to fear our Heavenly Father. And never underestimate the power of our Heavenly Father. Fear our Heavenly Father. No matter how great or small you are, fear Yahweh Shom Yom Shai. Isaiah 45 verse 7 For you so-called Christians, you new newcomers that might be thinking differently, a different mindset, I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace and create evil. You know, it's the opposite. The Lord is a perfect balance. I form the light. What's the opposite of light? Dark. I make peace. What's the opposite of peace? War. And I create evil. What is the opposite of evil? Good. I, the Lord, do all these things. And the list go on and on and on. I create hot and cold. We talk about Yahweh Shem Yashai. Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am He. And there is no other, there's no power. Salakia, for adding that word. See now that I, even I, am He. And there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive. You see the opposite? No, but it's not all it's all love to you. You Christians it's all love. Oh, the power of the Lord is all love. No, the power of the Lord is all love. The power of the Lord is all hate. It works in the opposites. I kill and I make alive. I wound. And what's the opposite of wound? Heal. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. When the Lord puts his hand to something, whatever it is, nothing can change. Nothing can take away from the Lord or nothing can add to the Lord. That's powerful. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Never, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Why is that? Because there's no other power other than Yahweh Basham Yahushai. There is no other power. You see, everything is, everything is, um, um, Everything is like the matrix. Everything is programmed. Never underestimate the power of the Heavenly Father. Job 1 and 21 And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord our power gave and the Lord, our power, have taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, you want to know the name of the Lord? Who we must bow down to? Who must we worship? Huh? Who must we exalt? Who must we sing praises to? Who must we glorify? Who must we praise? Who must we cry to? Who must we beg for food? When we sigh, when we cry, who do we cry to? When we are in pain, who you wants to heal you? Who, who must heal you? 
Because you're in pain. Because he wounded you. It's he that wounded you. The Lord is in control of spirits. Good spirits and bad spirits. And they work in perfection. The Lord is not only in control of one spirit. One good in love spirit. Christians not wake up. So called Christians. Wake up. The Lord our power is in control of all things. Job 1 verse 21. And said naked came I out of my mother's womb. And naked shall I return thither. The Lord our power gave. And the Lord our power have taken away. He gives, he takes. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be a who? The name? Yahweh. Our Father, which you call, ignorantly called God. God is just like a title. You have to be specific. Yahweh is his name, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, his, his beloved begotten son. His name is Yahweh Shai. And it's the, it's the same power Yahweh is going to send his son Yahweh Shai to come and save you. If you do not come, if you if you didn't, if you if you bow down to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, he you have to call upon those names in order to be saved, and he will save you. So you're not already saved. Saved from what? Saved from what? So. I hope and pray through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Remember the scripture says, you know, when one repenteth. Oh, let me see, I've got time to do it now. Let me see if I can get that. Baba Kasha, if you could just hold it in one second, please. Um, it's about um when one I think it's when when one Repentif. Uh, repentif. I'm getting repent. Um, angels. All. Uh, sorry. All angels of glory. All angels uh, glorify the Lord or something like that. Glorify the Lord or something like that. Let's see if I can get it. But I'm just going to paraphrase if I can't get it, yeah? When one repentive. Uh, I think something like we want when one uh, the angels uh, they shout for joy something oh um, angels rejoice ah oh, see I'm rejoice when one repentive. Rejoice in heaven and just rejoice in heaven in heaven. Oh, is it it? Angels in heaven rejoice. Is that it? Let me see. Oh, Brakatha Yahoba Sham Yahushai. Right? Brakatha Yahoba Sham Yahushai. See? Luke 15, verse 7. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety 
and nine just persons which need no repentance. See? I say unto you, likewise, joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth. That, that's, a, you know? So it's the same thing what I'm saying here through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yashai, Basham Kodash. If somebody, the Lord works in mysterious ways, never underestimate the power of the Lord. It's nothing for the Lord to make a poor man rich. Right? And that is spiritually rich. Even, even the Lord could do anything. Right? Because we're dealing with spirituality here. Right? We're not looking at treasures of this world. We're looking at the treasures of heaven. So we are here, the poor, the, elite, the Lord is dealing with the poorly at the moment. And the Lord is bailing up the elect to become rich. They are rich. Right? It's nothing to, for the Lord to make a poor man rich. So, right? There's nothing the Lord could make anyone repent and the angels in heaven rejoice. Because there's brothers right now, as I'm speaking, there's brothers right now doing videos or lessons, preaching, right? Calling upon the name of the Lord and there's someone out there listening and they're repenting, they've repented. And the angels right now in heaven are singing for joy. Yes, brakathe yahoba sham yao shai. Yes, brakathe yahoba sham yao shai. We've received another one. Oh, one second later. Oh, we receive another one. Oh, five seconds later. Oh, we receive another one. Never ever underestimate the power of the Lord. Hope and pray this is edifying. All the praises is given to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Brakothu Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rakar Kodash, and double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. All the praises is given to Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rakar Kodash. The water for our teachers of Great Millstone. Shalom.